you have Shaka Khan being the base character for Nicki Minaj. I find side-by-side pictures on Google. I know it's an obvious match. These pictures I find on Google because Google has all the answers. They've been recycling these characters for the longest, probably since ancient times. And you can see the resemblance in them as well when you look at their smiles and their facial features. And these characters will always have similarities to each other. This world, this whole world is a stage. Many stages, as there are many worlds. This ain't the only world. There's a lot of stuff they aren't telling us, but they show the truth in plain sight at the same time. They do all this stuff through CGI. They do this stuff through prosthetics, through makeup, through conscious transfer, and magic. A lot of magic has a lot to do with this stuff. As the old saying goes, nothing is new under the sun. All the stuff that you see has already been. And I may not be right on everything, but I know I'm on to something when it comes to these entities, these Hollywood characters playing different roles and deceiving the masses, collecting energy and harnessing the energy. They have the power to do these things. Just as they do it in the movies, they're doing it in real life. All these characters that you see on this world stage play multiple roles of these celebrities. This world is like the Truman Show, the movie. If anyone saw the Truman Show, it'll tell you a lot about what's going on. Look up the Truman Show. Now, when I looked up Nicki Minaj's birthday, she was born in December. And when I looked up Shaka Khan's birthday, she was born in March. About a three-month difference. And they'll always be born a couple months apart from each other. Every time. Now, when I did the Gematria, when I typed in Nicki Minaj, I got 49 in Jewish Reduction. And when I typed in Shaka Khan, I got 49 in full reduction KV and 49 in single reduction KV. The numbers don't lie, y'all. They're connected. 